Hi everyone, Pridhiv here from TGT and welcome to another quick update video about Safari. In a previous video, we discussed about Apple releasing Safari 15. Now, after the public release of macOS Monterey 12.0.1, which is the actual public release number, Apple also released Safari 15.1. Now, if you have already updated your Mac to macOS Monterey, you already have Safari 15.1. It came pre-installed with Monterey. To check, open Safari, then go to About Safari. Here you can see the version is 15.1 and the new build number as well. Now for the reference, I am running macOS Monterey 12.0.1 in this mid 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. But if your Mac is running macOS Big Sur or macOS Catalina, then you should see Safari as a separate standalone update. To check for the update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update and you should find the update here. Before the update, you need to close the browser and this update should take just a minute or so to install and do not require system restart. Apple did make quite a few visible changes such as redesign tabs, tab groups, etc. in Safari 15. This 15.1 update is mainly security focused and there is a big change according to the layout of Safari. We will get into that in a moment. First, let's check for any new backgrounds. No, we don't get anything new here. You might already know that with the release of macOS Monterey, Apple completely redesigned the Safari browser with a compact look like this. This is how Safari looks now in macOS 12. But with release of Safari 15.1, Apple has decided to completely revert Safari to the classic app design for users who do not want to use this new layout. The new layout is still available and comes enabled by default. Now if you go to Safari here and then preferences within the tabs, you now have two different options compact and separate. The layout you are now looking at is the compact layout but if you click separate your browser goes back to the classic Safari look as you can see here and of course you can pretty easily switch between these two layouts. I personally prefer the compact layout as it provides more screen space. Also we have some security updates for Safari as well. Let's go to the Apple security update page and here you can see this version contains a number of WebKit updates for both macOS Big Sur and macOS Catalina. As you can see, a logic issue was addressed with improved restrictions, an information leakage issue was addressed, and a buffer overflow issue was also addressed with improved memory handling as well. About faster performance, well, as you keep using the browser for the day-to-day -day activity, you will eventually know that in this 2017 MacBook Air, Safari 15.1 runs OK, I should say. Nothing fascinating, nothing irritating as well. Do share your experience in the comment section below and tell me which layout you like most. Please don't forget to subscribe to Digity. Please like and share this video as well. I will see you in my next one. Peace.